Good morning, Pehmina Khan is here in TK Maths is fun. In today's video, we will see a question on um, forces and equilibrium, which is a part of the syllabus of A-level mathematics M1. This question is taken from March 22, variant 4 to question 5. For the other videos on the topic or AS A-level mathematics, you can visit my blog address and my website address, which is given here. So let's begin with the question. This question is about a point at which four forces are acting and all four forces are coplanar. They're on the same plane and they're acting at a point. Now you can see from the diagram, the direction of the forces and their um, magnitude itself. Some magnitudes, magnitudes are unknown like 2F and G. F and only one force is known, which is 10 Newton. So first part of the question is informing you that forces are in equilibrium and you have to find out the value of F and G force. So this is a simple question. It means forces acting along horizontal, I mean horizontally or vertically, the balancing each other. So we just need to resolve or find the components of these forces of 2F Newton and G Newton. So we will resolve them into X component and Y component. I have done it on the next page neatly, but just letting you know, for example, like this, this is X component and this is Y component. And this will be 2F cos 40, right? And this one will be 2F sin 40. So let's see it in the diagram here. I have written here. You can see 2F cos 40, 2F sin 40. This purple one, which is the component of G Newton force, is G cos 60 and G sin 60. This F Newton force is in the X direction horizontally, so there is no Y component of it. Similarly, for 10 Newton force, there is no X component. The only component is Y component, vertical component. So, because forces are in equilibrium, it means this left-hand side force, I'm talking about horizontal forces first, 2F cos 40, will be equal to g cos 60 and f newton so you will get one equation from here 2f cos 40 is equal to g cos 60 plus f and then if you want to just manipulate it find out the value which i have done here so i got f is equal to 0 0.9398 g you can make g a subject choice is yours because we will solve simultaneously after getting the other equation from vertical uh, direction when we will put it equal to each other okay so now if i see vertical forces then this 2f sine 40 which is acting upward and g i have written here too this is a mistake it is g g sine 60 and 2f sine 40 they are acting upward and downward force is 10 newton so upward force is equals to downward force i have written here and then I will substitute this value of F force into this equation to get the value of G force. You can see here, right? And after getting this value of G force, I will plug in here to get the magnitude of F force. So don't forget to write Newton here, the unit of the force we have to mention here. So this is how you will find out the forces. The second part of the question. Now, in this question, the force F is given to you, which is 3 Newton. And you have to find the value of G for which the resultant of the forces is perpendicular to the 10 Newton force. Now, this is something very important. You need to understand what does it mean. What it is saying? Resultant of the forces. Now, resultant of the forces are because of X direction and Y direction, right? Horizontally and vertically. The, the resultant of the forces is perpendicular to 10 Newton force. Now, what does it mean perpendicular to 10 Newton force? 10 Newton force is here and something perpendicular to 10 Newton either will be here or will be here. So, question is telling you that resultant of the force is in the horizontal direction, right? Now, if the resultant of the forces is in the horizontal direction, which is perpendicular to 10 Newton, then this simply means that there is no resultant in the y direction. It means 
वाई डायरेक्शन फोर्सेज और वर्टिकल फोर्सेज आर बैलेंसिंग ईच अदर राइट सो दिस इज दिंट गिवेन हेयर सो दिस इज वॉट आई है रिजल्टेंट फोर्स इज इन दॉरिजोंटल डायरेक्शन एंड जीरो रिजल्टेंट फोर्स इज इन दर्टिकल डायरेक्शन दिस मीन्स वी कैन पुट द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ द वाई डायरेक्शन ऑफ वर्टिकल फोर्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो दिस विल हेल्प अस टू फॉर्म एन इक्वेशन सो इफ यू सी हेयर फ्रॉम हेयर योर वर्टिकल कॉम्पोनेंट इज टू एफ साइन फोर्टी एंड इन प्लेस ऑफ एफ यू विल राइट थ्री फ्रॉम हेयर फॉर जी न्यूटन फोर्स दिस विल बी जी साइन सिक्सटी right and downward force is 10 newton because and because of this reason i'm making an equation right i have just told you here and then this will help me to find out the g newton force so thank you very much for watching this video and if you like it then please share it with your friends press like and subscribe button you can write comments if you want me to explain any particular question Thank you very much very much take care Allah Hafiz